cancel that. I wonder if I can... There we go. Okay. So aside from my funny looking face at the moment, what I've been looking at just now is classically what is referred to as the video that is getting around talking about the Metatronic Daisy of Death versus the Crystal Flower of Life. Now my aim here is not to discredit anyone or to poke fun at anyone or do anything, but to simply report my findings. So after doing a little bit of an experiment um, and figuring out this stuff mentally and uh, online, I wasn't able to find all that much. I mean, like, mostly because I guess I wasn't spending hours and hours and hours looking for it. But what I decided to do, because it clicked when I was thinking about it, was I went, oh, maybe I should just give it a try myself rather than spending hours and hours and hours trying to figure it out. So the thing that clicked was, well, what if, what if what's going on here is in fact just a confusion and a ma manipulation of data in order to cause separation and division? And of course, as we find out, or as I'm finding out, that's exactly what's going on here. So first of all, this here, is not the same as this, and it's not because this is the um, devilish version of this. No, this is actually the smaller version of this in motion, and I'll get to that. So thinking about this and looking at it and trying to work out, hey, first of all, how many circles are going around here? So if we put our markers here and we start here, we only need to go through half of them, then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six points, which is mirrored by another six points around here. So that would indicate that there's 12 circles. So if we stick them out here, this first circle, two, three, four, five, six, and then the opposite would be number one again for six more. So there's 12 circles there. And then there's one circle in the middle. I'm like, well, that's interesting. So how many circles are in the outside of this one? And I started counting. I'm like, one, two, three, da, 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 da. And I'm like, no, clearly these are not matching up. And then it clicked. And then that's when I went, oh, I better try this out for myself. Ba, 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 ba. So I printed one out, just glued it to some cardboard, poked a hole in the middle, you know, like we do in school. Back in the day, put the pen in the middle, and then away we go, and we spin, right? Trying to hold it stable. You can begin to see how this uh, unified eternal consciousness comes out of the speed of light. I mean, the speed of light. <laughs> The flower of life, or the seed, no, sorry, this is the seed of life. That's the flower of life, right? So the seed of life is here. And it's spinning around, and it's looking just like this. So it's like, okay, well, that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Very, very interesting. So where is this going? I went, oh, wait a minute. I've got some amazing, amazing quality image software to work with here. So I went, boom! And I pulled up Canva, amazing quality image software. Ha, 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 yeah. And uh, I just put one flower of life, and then I put a second flower of life, and then I rotated it by, as it turns out, I was aiming for 40 degrees, 45 degrees, you know, halfway between 90 degrees. But then by the time I hit 30 degrees, I noticed it starting to hit the point. You see what's going on here? So this so-called flower of eternal crystal life, which is the true flower of life, actually, no, it's a seed of life, and it's a seed of life frozen in motion, right, or duplicated, and then laid over upon itself, right, is not actually the same as this one here. Because this one here is actually an extra layer around the outside of this. So if we had another set of circles around the outside of this, and then we spun that, which I'm going to do, and I'll take some pictures and I'll duplicate it again and we'll talk about it in another post. 
would work out to be a very interesting one here. But the claim that these two is the life-giving one and then the death-giving one, I can say is, I'm going to go back to the classic, debunked or not debunked, because it's both. That's not the same as this, because this is only half of that. Stop moving. <laughs> oh, it's playing. There we go. So if we close around on the inside of this, then we've got the flower of life right there. Sorry, the seed of life. Then if you duplicate that and set it off to itself by 30 degrees, you'll get that image there. Okay? But this one is not the same because it's got that extra layer of circles around the outside of it. It's got one layer of circles, two layer of circles, and then the third circle. This one is just one layer of circle, two layers of circles, and is missing the third circle. Right? Oh, I'm being called. So I hope that clears up a couple of things. Like I said, I'll figure out what this one looks like when it's in motion, when it's doing exactly the same as this one, and we'll see what goes on. But to finish off, that would be classified as the dead, dead seed of life because it's frozen. Right? It's stopped. Whereas that would be the living seed of life because it's in motion. But that's just a 2D representation of what the motion looks like because when you actually do it, you can't get a 2D representation of it because it's a moving image of blurred imagery, which is a confusing mismatch of the human eye and our senses. Right? I hope this makes sense anyway. Have fun.